Cree's like, got to do her makeup. Last looks. Last looks. <laughs> you know the best part about this Cree? What? Is that we're definitely diagonal. That's that's equally bad. It is, just in a different way. <laughs> Good morning, Hank. It's Tuesday. <laughs> I am joined today by Cree, who plays Daisy. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. I'm not working today, but I'm visiting set. <laughs> just out of pure, pure love for the cast and crew. 100%. Who is your favorite beetle? And what is your favorite color? I'm gonna say what my sister's favorite is, which I'm pretty sure is Ringo. And my favorite color is burgundy. Ringo burgundy. Mm -hmm. Mine are John and green. Let's move on. Thanks for coming to my party. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> Let's keep going. Did you read the book? I did read the book and it's a gorgeous book. I devoured it very quickly. And what interested you about the role of Daisy? Like, was there something you connected to with her? As I get older, I'm appreciating being the hype man to the people in my <laughs> life. And it's kind of that thing of, I'm not on the same planet as you. I'm, I'm not in the same spot as you, but I love you and I'm here anyway. That's something that, that is really powerful in the movie that mm -hmm. I don't know. I admit that I don't know what this is like for you, but I believe you. I loved that about Daisy. And then also she gets to make some jokes. Cree's ad-libs at the end of scenes are <laughs> unbelievably funny. Like some of them can't be in the movie. Yeah, that's but just for us. <laughs> Every single take, you're, it, it's funny in a different way. So I laugh every time. Like, can you ever hear me laughing? I did yesterday. Have you seen any of the other adaptations of John Green's books? Yes, of course. I went with my friends and we brought blankets because we knew we were going to like cry and it was going to be emotional uh, for Fault in Our Stars. Everyone's seen all your subsequent ones. Looking for Alaska, e everyone, Paper Town. Everyone has. We've all seen them. We've all seen Let We've It Snow been... because... Let It Snow starring Isabella Merced. Exactly. Bella and Cree have invented the John Green multiverse. Multiverse. <laughs> where all of my uh, movie adaptations exist inside of one complicated universe full of parallel universes. Yeah. I'm just trying to get cast in the next one, honestly. <laughs> if there is a next one, I think you're a shoe in okay. You may be 35 years old. <laughs> Great! I'll age into her. <laughs> puppies or kittens? I like puppies, but if I were one of them, I would for sure be a kitten. I'm a house cat. Yes. I like being inside. Yeah. I like laying in, like, patches of sun. When I was your age, I thought of myself as primarily an indoor phenomenon. Yeah. But as I've gotten older, I've gotten kind of interested in outside. You are very outdoors. I see it on your social media a lot, and yeah. I feel a little bit, like, betrayed. <laughs> Have you ever considered writing Star Wars fan fiction? You're the author, so you can mm. tell me if I'm wrong. Yeah. But I loved writing growing up, and I feel like everything that I ever wrote as a kid was, like, a really messy like unintentional fan fiction of whatever books or shows I oh, liked. Oh, totally. How does it feel knowing how impactful this story has been for lots of people and knowing that you're bringing it to life in a new form? I think everyone has a relationship with mental health struggles, even if they're not your own. I most certainly do. So even reading the book, taking a side auditioning or knowing if I was going to get the part meant a lot. And I think I saw a lot of myself and sort of my mental health journey in ASUS. I don't think it's lost on any of us that it's a really important assignment we have and we take that really seriously. Well, thanks, Cree. We have an amazing cast and crew. It is great. That's why I'm hanging out on my day off. <laughs> and indeed, why I'm here even though I have no job other than to eat Cheetos. <laughs> well, thank you for letting me be in the movie, John. As the person who is in complete control of every aspect of this production, mm -hmm. you're welcome. Hank, I'll see you on Friday. I like Cree to the outro.